Welcome to BizWorld, I'm Nurin Razman. The Securities Commission, SC, has issued the revised guidelines on conduct for capital market intermediaries, aimed at elevating the standards of professionalism and integrity of capital market intermediaries, CMIs, in the industry. In a statement, it said the revised guidelines reinforce the roles of a CMI's board and senior management in instilling a corporate culture that prioritizes clients' interests. The guidelines also clarify the expectations on CMI's duty to act honestly and fairly, as well as avoid misleading and deceiving its clients under any circumstances. New chapters are introduced to address crucial areas such as treatment of vulnerable clients, as well as provision of personal advice and capital market-related services, including through online platforms. Malaysian palm oil futures rose, mirroring gains in rival soy oil to reverse losses in the previous two sessions. The benchmark palm oil contract for June delivery on the Bursa Malaysia Derivatives Exchange rose 0.6% to 4,161 ringgit a metric tonne by the midday break. According to a Mumbai-based vegetable oil brokerage, Sunvin Group, the outlook for Malaysian palm oil prices is bullish. This is due to the upward momentum in soy oil, with the market now waiting for industry estimates for the March output and exports from leading producer Malaysia. Soy oil prices on the Chicago Board of Trade rose 0.95 percent. Palm oil is affected by price movements in related oils as they compete for a share in the global vegetable oils market. Malaysia has the potential to become a top provider of feedstock for sustainable aviation fuel SAF production in Asia-Pacific by teaming up with global partners to improve capabilities and streamline supply chain. According to MIDF Research, Malaysia can also tap into the global SAF market thanks to its abundant feedstock, established biofuel industry and government support and partnerships with oil and gas players. However, it said challenges such as competition, technology constraints and environmental issues are crucial for Malaysia. In line with, it, with its energy transition roadmap initiatives, Malaysia aims to achieve the International Civil Aviation Organization's Net Zero Carbon Emissions Target for Aviation by 2050 and implement up to a 47% blending rate of sustainable SAF by the same year. Bursa Malaysia closed slightly higher today. At 5 p.m., the FBM KLCI increased by 5.47 points to 1,536.07 points. This figure is supported by persistent buying in heavyweight stocks and amid a positive regional performance. BMI is maintaining its current forecast for Brent crude oil price to an average of 85 US dollar per barrel in 2024. However, it revised down its estimate for 2025 to 82 US dollar per barrel. The Fitch Solutions company said Brent crude has performed well this month, breaking through near-term resistance to settle at a high of nearly 87 US dollar per barrel on March 25th. Risks associated with the Russia-Ukraine war have also resurfaced, with Kyiv ramping up its attacks on Russian energy infrastructure. This, combined with the ongoing supply risks in the Middle East and cutbacks by the Organization of the Petroleum Exporting Countries and Allies, has fueled healthy price gains. And that's all the time we have for BizWorld. I'm Nuren Rasmin. Keep tuning in to TV Tiga and Salamat Berbuka Puasa.